What's up, guys? Uh, Republic Aviation back on our video. As you can tell, we got our unboxing video, guys. Um, just starting this video off right now. Uh, been uh, out from YouTube for about a week and a half, maybe something like that. My last unboxing was this uh, uh, Delta 330 uh, 900 Neo. Go check that out on YouTube right now. It's out uh, right now. But here we got a, uh, another model, very uh, solidly rare. Uh, they they go for pretty expensive on eBay. Uh, this is the Gemini Jets. Uh, this is my first actually of the type. The Gemini Jets 1400 scale, uh, uh Boeing 737 Max 8 from American Airlines. So we'll just pull it out of the box. I already opened it up because I don't really know what it was. Uh, but I got this on eBay, uh, for a pretty, a pretty, uh, for it was pretty pricey. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, really, really happy to have one of these uh, in my collection. As soon as uh, American Airlines recertified it, um, I uh, ran on eBay and uh, try to get my uh, best deal that I could find. So this definitely was the best deal I got. Um, came pretty quick also, so, uh, we will see how the model is, but just unwrapping the bubble paper, um, here it is, guys, the Gemini Jets, um, the Gemini Jets American 737 Max 8 in 1400 scale, uh, so, like I said, the model is brand new, um, really, really, really psyched to, uh, have this in my collection, um, American Airlines is the first airline in the United States to recertify the uh, 737 MAX 8. Um, They're going to be starting uh, service from LaGuardia uh, to uh, Miami. Um, they actually already started test flying it uh, with the cruise and everything. But here's the box. It is a 2018 release. Uh, these things are pretty hard to find. Uh, so if you get your hands on one, uh, really highly recommend it. But let's just uh, crack this thing open and see how the model looks inside. Alright, so uh, opening it up, uh, we see little, uh, we see a lot of foam protecting there, so that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, taking the plastic protectings off of the model, um, we will take the model out of the box, and wow, <laughs> I love this. Looking, looking really, really nice. Here it is, guys. Wow, the color on it is perfect. Um, people did do say that the that uh, Gemini Jets does have the perfect 737 Max mold, and it is really, really nice, guys. You could just see um, the details on this thing. But uh, this is my first 730, 737 Max, also. Uh, so uh, again, really, really excited to have this aircraft in my collection. Looking really, really nice. Um, but we will start at the uh, front nose cone, and the nose is looking pretty sharp. Um, of course, the Max is a little higher landing gear than most aircraft. Um, you have the L1 boarding door, of course, with the American Airlines titles. Uh, and then you have your Leap engines that power the 737 Max with the chevrons on the back. Looking really, really nice. You have your overwing exits and routes. And then you have the uh, wing overwing uh, detail, which is looking really, really nice. And then, of course, you have your signature uh, 737 Max uh, uh, winglets over there with the uh, red navigation light. Uh, moving along, they nailed the uh, TV uh, antenna box over there. Uh, we got one antenna over there, another one over there. Uh, we got the American flag, and then we got the registration of this aircraft, which is November 324 Romeo Alpha. And we have the uh, American flag right next to there. And we have the beautiful American Airlines tail looking really, really sharp. Uh, we have the signature Max tail. Again, it, it ends off a little uh, shortly over here. I'll, I'll compare it to my NG one, uh, but uh, looking, uh, looking really, really nice. I really am enjoying this. Uh, a, a little back view of the model. Um, looking... Uh, really, really, really nice. Um, we will uh, have the model on the other side right now. So on the other side of the aircraft, um, again, you have uh, similar details. Of course, you have the uh, baggage uh, compartments, of course, with the registration again. Looking really, really nice, guys. Really, really stoked to have this airplane in my collection. Looking really, really nice. Um, you know, uh, American Airlines is definitely uh, up there. In, uh, oops, sorry about that. Camera fell over American Airlines is definitely up there in uh, top airlines of mine. Um, of course, we got JetBlue at the one spot and then uh, two spots pretty hard. But uh, we'll take a look at the bottom of this airplane. Uh, bottom's looking perfect. Um, no really any paint defects that I, that I can see, which is uh, unreal from Gemini Jets. But uh, of course, you got the landing gear. You got the Gemini Jets logo. Uh, you got uh, another antenna down there and uh, looking really, really nice and sharp this aircraft is. Uh, Gemini Jets does have... Um, now that I'm holding it, uh, I don't really, I, I haven't really seen any other company 737, 737 Max mold, but I do see why people say that this is one of the, uh, best molds on the market. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, let's see the, uh, set the camera right there for a sec. Uh, I, I'm going to go grab a, uh, a, uh, um, a, uh, American 737 800. So I'll be right back one sec. Um, so... 
Um, so here is the here is a American 737 um, 800. Um, one sec, sorry about that. So over here we have a. Uh, so bringing into the picture right now, we have a uh, regular American 737 800 um, from NG Models. Uh, I'll just zoom out real quick. Uh, and we'll bring both into focus. So we're gonna put the box down there. So here's the 737 Max and here's the uh, Boeing 737 800. Uh, so you can see little key differences, guys. Uh, starting off with the nose. Um, I, the one thing that uh, that NG did do wrong in their 737, which is pointed out obviously, is that the landing gear is too high. Um, so um, you know what? I'll go pull out my. Uh, I'll go pull out since it's right over here, um, right next to me. Um, I, I do have a, a, a very good, uh, solid nose done uh, by uh, Phoenix Models, and you could just see the uh, the uh, height difference on the landing gear. Uh, that the 737 Max is supposed to have. Um, a uh, um, higher uh, landing gear than the um, 737 uh, next generation. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, this model is looking perfect. The coloring is the uh, Gemini just did nail this on the color, just like they uh, they recently did the uh, uh, the American 787-9. Uh, they also nailed that on the color. So um, really, really nice model. Really happy to have this in my collection. Um, super stoked about it. Uh, if you could find one of these on eBay, highly recommended. They're 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 a bit pricey these days, uh, but it's definitely worth the price. Um, I gotta be honest. Um, we'll just look at some of the uh, details. Uh, you can see inside the engines over there. Uh, engines are looking really really sharp. Got a nice uh, nose nose view like there, uh, right over there. We will uh, just turn the model around. I'll just give you a couple of views, guys. Um, so um, I do have a, a pretty solid size shipment coming in from NG. Um, and Gemini and the latest Gemini jets um, very soon from Panda Fox and Diecast Airplane Store. Uh, that should be coming tomorrow. It said it was going to come today, but I guess it's going to be coming tomorrow. Uh, and then we got the uh, the uh, the, and the latest NG models releases. Hoping going to be in a couple weeks. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this model, it's a, it's a it's a gorgeous gorgeous um, model. If you did enjoy this review, uh, go go pick up a 737 Max, especially from American Airlines, because they are the first company to recertify these airplanes. Uh, but if you guys did, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, definitely a lot more content coming. Uh, make sure to like the uh, li like the video and um, and go check out my uh, other videos on my channel. So thank you guys uh, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time, guys. See you.